Hello and welcome to another episode of Bunkum Monthly, a show right here on BCTV to let you know about some great upcoming events taking place here in Buncombe County during September. We're coming to you today from Ledges Whitewater River Park in Woodfin, and if you haven't been to the river parks in Buncombe County, you should definitely check them out. They're beautiful at every season of the year. Now to hear all of the information I give you in today's episode, or to see some more events that I don't mention in today's episode, visit our website at buncombecounty.org. If you'd like to see this episode again or see any of BCTV's original programming, visit buncombecounty.org slash bctv or buncombecounty.org slash youtube. If you and your dog love going for runs, why not take part in the Tales and Trails 5K Adventure Run taking place at the Buncombe County Sports Park in September. It's sponsored by the Buncombe County Recreation Services Office. It's taking place on Saturday, October 3rd at the Buncombe County Sports Park. The run begins at 9.30 a.m. and is open to adults, children, and canines of all ages. If you register by September 18th, you'll receive an event t-shirt. Otherwise, you can register up until the date of the event. The cost is $20 for adults, $10 for children up to age 12, and two cans of dog food for the Asheville Humane Society. Dogs must be on leashes at all times. For more information about the Tales and Trails 5K Adventure Run, you can contact Jay Nelson with Recreation Services at 828-250-4269 or email j.nelson at buncombecounty.org. If you're looking for a great volunteer opportunity in Buncombe County, why not check out TIP, T-I-P, Trauma Intervention Program. Essentially, when 911 gets a call and emergency responders are sent out, you will also be trained to be sent out with them to provide assistance to the victim during what could be the worst day of their life. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, they have a training coming up that you should check out. The training will take place on Thursday, October 22nd, but you can register any time from now until they fill up. If you have questions about being a TIP volunteer, or if you want to register for the training class, you can call 828-513-0498 or you can email mandy at tipnational.org. This program is available to anyone high school age and above who have access to transportation. The next stop at Ledges Whitewater River Park is their walking trail. It's not a very long walking trail, but it's beautiful nature scenery and you get the river next to you the entire time. If you're looking to add a new four-legged member to your family, look no further than the Asheville Humane Society. They have plenty of adoptable dogs and cats like Mimo here who are in need of a good home. Now when you adopt from the Asheville Humane Society, not only are you saving a life, but all of the pets have been spayed, neutered, received their shots, and some basic training. The Asheville Humane Society is dedicated to promoting the compassionate treatment of animals in our community through education, sheltering, and adoption. Come visit the Asheville Humane Society's Adoption Center at 14 Forever Friend Lane, just south of the Farmer's Market, to see all of the wonderful animals we have for adoption. Meet Mimo. This four-month-old domestic short hair is super playful and very curious. Eddie is a female nine-year-old St. Bernard Great Pyramids mix, and she uh, is reported to get along with cats. Diamond is a two-year-old gray domestic short hair who loves to play fetch with her toy mouse. She also loves fish tanks. Petey is a male one-year-old greyhound terrier mix who loves to go on rides and long hikes. Nick is a two-month-old black domestic short hair and he's a typical young active kitten. Rufio is a six-year-old male chihuahua and this little boy is going to be somebody's devoted pet. He loves to be scratched behind his ears. Meet Miss Maya. She's a three-year-old white domestic short hair, and what a beauty, and she loves to play. Talk is a 13-year-old female, and she's looking for a really good retirement home. Batman is a six-year-old black domestic short hair. This little boy is FIV positive, so he needs a home where he will not be let outside, and he loves taking long naps in the sun. Sophie is a female one-year terrier mix, and this lady really, really enjoys playing games. To reach the Asheville Humane Society, you can call us at 828-761-2001, or to view all of our available animals for adoption, visit our website at AshevilleHumane.org. The 
The Asheville Humane Society and the Asheville Art Museum are teaming up for the upcoming Yappy Hour. If you've never been to a Yappy Hour, it's a great time where pet families can gather together for food, drink, fun, and for a good cause. The next one is taking place on Wednesday, September 16th from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Aloft Downtown WXYZ Bar. This event is a partnership honoring the Weimar Honors, featured in William Eggman's Cubism and Otherisms exhibit on display now at the Asheville Art Museum. A $5 donation is required for complimentary appetizers. WXYZ Lounge will also be offering signature drinks for the event. For more information about this or any of the other great programs coming up from the Asheville Humane Society, you can visit AshevilleHumane.org or give them a call at 828-761-761. 2001. If aging adult issues are near and dear to your heart, then why not take part in a fundraiser to help the Council on Aging of Buncombe County? This one's an easy one to participate in. All you have to do is buy a pizza from Blue Mountain Pizza. On Thursday, September 17th from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., 10% of all the proceeds on pizza orders from Blue Mountain Pizza in Weaverville will go to the Council on Aging. This can be through pickup, delivery, or dining in. If you dine in, you'll be able to get some great information on the services offered by the Council on Aging. For more information, visit coabc.org or call the Council on Aging at 828-277-8288. On Track Financial Education and Counseling is a great nonprofit organization that helps you get on the right track financially and with credit through education programs, individual counseling sessions, and debt management programs. And here are a few of their upcoming classes to get you on the right track to financial health. On Saturday, September 19th and 26th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., join them for their two-part home buyer education class. If you're considering buying a home in the next year and have no idea where to start, you'll learn everything you need to know in this class. On Tuesday, beginning September 15th, take part in the money management course from 5.30 to 8 p.m. They'll go over everything from setting financial goals, developing realistic budgets, saving money, managing debt, and much more. On Friday, September 18th from noon to 1.30 p.m. and Wednesday, September 23rd from 5.30 to 7 p.m., you can check out their Credit, Keep It, Improve It class. You'll find out what credit is and why it's important, understand what affects your credit score, and gain knowledge of methods to repair or establish your credit. Now these are just a few of the classes and seminars offered through On Track. To check out their full list of events or for more information about them, visit ontrackwnc.org or you can give them a call at 828-255-5166. WINCAP, the Western North Carolina AIDS Project, is holding an upcoming Raise Your Hand fundraiser to help benefit AIDS research and awareness in Western North Carolina. It's taking place on Saturday, September 26th at the Asheville Events Center, and tickets are on sale right now. A ticket will include your dinner and an art auction featuring donated works from many local artists, including Cindy Walton, a River Arts District painter whose in-flight painting will be the signature piece for the auction. For more information about WinCap, free STD clinic testing, or any of the great services they offer, visit wincap.org. For more information about the Raise Your Hand Benefit Auction and Gala, you can visit wincapgala.org. You can also give their office a call at 828-252-7489. The Buncombe County Public Library System isn't just a quiet place to check out a book and read. They sponsor many great events for every age throughout every branch library in the county. And here are a few of these events coming up. On Thursday, September 24th at 2.30 p.m., join the South Buncombe Skyland Library for a presentation of author and adventurer Gary Sizer. In 2014, Sizer hiked 2,185.3 miles from Georgia to Maine on a 153-day Appalachian Trail trip. He will present excerpts from his book documenting the event, Where's the Next Shelter? This program is free and everyone is invited. On Friday, September 25th at 6 p.m., the Lester Library is going to begin their month-long silent movie night, kicking off with The Mask of Zorro. All ages are welcome, and complimentary popcorn will be served. Preceding the movie will be a nine-minute Felix the Cat presentation. 
The library's silent movie comedy series will continue through the fall with film screenings every Friday at 6 p.m. For more details, you can call 828-250-6480 or email lesterlibrary at buncombecounty.org. On Tuesday, September 29th at 6.30 p.m., the Swannanoa Library wants to teach you about monarch butterfly migration. Van Burnett of the Hop and Blueberry Farms of Black Mountain shares the joys and troubles of the future butterfly migration, as well as ways we can help bring back those clouds of brilliant orange and black wings to our land. Finally, on Wednesday, September 30th at noon, Pack Memorial Library is hosting Hungry for History, the Roaring Twenties in Asheville. Hosted by Kevin Frazier, former history professor and executive director of Western Carolina University at Biltmore Park, is hosting the free program. Learn how the events of the 20s turned Asheville from one of the South's greatest cities to nearly crippling it. Now those were just a few of the upcoming events from the library system. If you'd like to see a full list of their calendar events, then visit their calendar. Just visit buncombecounty.org library and check out their calendar events. Who knows what fun one of the 12 county libraries will have for you coming up. Eblin Charities is a great local organization that helps struggling families with everything from health, energy, education, emergency assistance, and housing assistance. And they want you to know that they're holding a fundraiser coming up in the form of a Hope for Run, Walk, or Roll 10K with all the proceeds benefiting these great programs. It's taking place on Saturday, October 10th, beginning at AB Tech's main campus at 340 Victoria Road in Asheville. The funds raised from this program will help struggling families to provide food, clothes, school supplies, a place to live, and be able to keep the lights on at home. So if six miles seems like a worthy walk, run, or roll for that cause, you can find more information about the program at eblincharities.org. Or you can give them a call at 828-888. 255-3066. Mission Health creates many great community outreach programs which keep us healthy both inside and outside of Mission Hospital. One such coming up is called Coffee with Clinicians and it's an Alzheimer's awareness discussion. It's taking place on Monday, September 28th at 11 a.m. in room 103 of the Jane Woodruff Clinic at Highlands Cashiers Hospital, 190 Hospital Drive in Highlands, North Carolina. If you didn't know already, September is Alzheimer's Awareness Month, and in this program you'll spend an hour with neurologist Dr. Bayard Millard and Chief Nursing Officer at Eckerd Living Center, Ava Emery, who will educate you on Alzheimer's disease. Light snacks will be served. Space is limited, so if you want to reserve a spot, call 828-526-1433. For more great events sponsored by Mission Health, you can visit their website, mission-health.org. The Office of Cooperative Extension of Buncombe County is a great local resource for personal care, lawn care, household care, the 4-H program, and much more. They have a great program coming up in September called Eat Smart, Move More that'll teach you how to be smarter and healthier in the kitchen. If you've never heard of Eat Smart, Move More, it's a great way to learn how to save money at the grocery store and cook healthy, delicious food and lose weight. Their next class is coming up on Thursday, September 17th, beginning at 10.30 a.m. at the Montmorency Church at 89 Old Candler Town Road in Candler, North Carolina. Each participant will receive useful kitchen tools, and those who attend the entire five-class series will receive a certificate of completion and a cookbook from FNEP, which is the Expanded Food Nutrition Education Program. Best part, all of these classes are free. For more information about Eat Smart, Move More, or for more great events sponsored by Buncombe County Office of Cooperative Extension, you can visit buncombe.ces.ncsu.edu or call 828-255-5522. The Asheville Chamber of Commerce wants you to know about a great, exciting, and energetic evening coming up from the Economic Development Coalition on a five-year strategic plan for job growth in our region. It's taking place on Thursday, September 17th, beginning at 4.45 p.m. at the Lion Crest at Biltmore, 1 Lodge Street in Asheville. Nationally renowned speaker Bruce Katz of the Brookings Institution and founding director of the Brookings Metropolitan Policy Program will share his understanding of the functions and values of cities and metropolitan areas to have a positive impact on economic vitality, livability, and sustainability. 
Cost is just $20 for chamber members or $25 for non-members. Students who register get in for free. For more information about the event or to register for it online, visit AshevilleChamber.org. You can also call 828-258-6101. Thank you for watching and thank you for joining us at some of these beautiful river parks we have here in Buncombe County. Now, like I mentioned before, anything that I mentioned in today's episode, you can find on our website at buncombecounty.org. If you want to watch this episode again to hear all of this great information, visit buncombecounty.org slash YouTube where we post all of our videos online from BCTV, or you can just visit buncombecounty.org slash BCTV to see our schedule of events and all of the great shows we have coming up. Again, thank you for watching and have a great September, Buncombe County.